is no digital without chips. And the European need for chips will double in the next decade. And this is why we need to radically raise Europe's game on the development, production and use of this key technology. Europe is strong in some specific areas, such as, for example, the design of components for power electronics or chips for the automotive and manufacturing industries. Europe is the world's center for semiconductor research. And Europe is also very well positioned in terms of the materials and equipment that are needed to run large chip manufacturing plants. But Europe's global semiconductors market share is only 10%. And today, most of our supplies come from a handful of producers outside Europe. And this is a dependency and uncertainty we simply cannot afford. I want to start off by saying, Brakatha Yahawa, Brakatha Yaharashai, Brakatha Yahawa, Brakatha Yaharashai. Call Halal Yahawa by Shim Yaharashai. Call Halal Yahawa by Shim Yaharashai by Shim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone that told me this doctrine in truth and sincerity. Shalom to the elect. The Heavenly Father's name is Yahawa, which means he is or he exists. By Shim in the name of his only begotten son. But world ignorant calls Jesus Christ. We know his name to be Yaharashai which means he is the deliverer, he is the savior for the Hebrew Israelites from the pedigree of your father, Ba'ashim in the name of the Ruach HaKadosh, which means the Holy Spirit that's able to give us the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of who we are, which are the true Hebrew Israelites. We've been discontinued from our heritage because we went off following after false gods and false idols, but through Yehoshai HaMashiach being our savior, he's able to what? Wake up his elect, okay? Wake up the elect to be able to uh, come back to the Lord. So-called Negro, so-called Latino, so-called Native Americans. We've been uh, put into captivity under our oppressor, which is which is Esau Edom. Esau means wasted away is, and they are the biblical Edomites, which is the so-called white man. Okay, the self-proclaimed white man. These elites, you know, you have the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the Oppenheimers, the Duponts. These are the wicked that it speaks about in the scriptures that in the latter days would be controlling the world. Okay, um, that would have the fatness of the earth and would control it with the great sword. And that's what you're seeing on display is, you know, uh, prophecy, you know, manifesting and being made made uh, clear. OK, well, just like our Lord was Lord, Lord uh, said, you know, as far as, uh, you know, John the Revelator, when he was on the island of uh, Patmos. Right. When he was, um, you know, uh, um, you know, being locked up because of, uh, you know, persecution as far as uh, pushing the word. OK. And he was able to have a vision of, uh, you know, the Karagma. OK, which is what she was saying, which was what the chips. OK, and that's a, a main prophecy that uh, has to happen. They have to what mandate it across the uh, four corners of the earth, you know, and that's then the end shall come because that will be considered the uh, what, hour of temptation, the hour of temptation where our Lord's going to intervene, um, you know, for his elect to be able to, um, you know, save us. OK, and so this is, you know. The vision is yet for a point in time. Okay, Habakkuk 2, right? So uh, let's get this. This is Sirach 39 and 1. It says, But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. Yeah, so prophecies are, are what? Forecasting the future. Okay, and the Lord has sent prophets to be able to uh, give warning to our people. Which are you so-called Negro, so-called Latino, so-called Native Americans, or of the speckled bird looking like the other nations, okay? To be able to give you uh, a warning, you know, as far as uh, the destruction that's about to happen to this place. Because we're in the midst of the end times, okay? Um, you have wars and rumors of wars. You have, uh, you know, uh, famines brewing, okay? You're having what the, the economy is, is uh, you know, is, is being broken down, Um far as uh far as the whole the whole economy is just uh, is being destroyed okay and that's all because of this word that's being pushed out all because of what prophecy because whenever you would see the prophets that means that that's a sign of the of the end times okay of the end times of, of a kingdom okay that's why these devils uh, um you know are so afraid because they know that they have but a short time they know 
They see the chariots. They see the men of the Lord on the highways and the byways pushing the word. They see the epistles going up uh, constantly, brothers being fervent in the spirit. And, you know, that's making them afraid. And so what does Esau do? He's like a, a caged dog, right? Um, you know, that has, you know, he doesn't have nothing else to live for. Okay. He has nothing else to live for. So he's going to try to what implement um, what, what he knows best, which is what the karagma. He wants to be able to um, have that because he has a God complex. Okay. He has a God complex and he thinks that he is the most high. And with, with that, um, you know, as far as the, with, with the karagma, um, you know, that's the Lord's against that. Okay. The Lord's against anything that's, you know, putting cuttings in your flesh and against what taking that karagma. Cause if you do, you're going to get what a grievous sore. Okay. Which is a, similar to a, a cancer. Right. And so you're seeing that they have what the beetle juice too. Okay. The, the hot sauce, the, the Justin Bieber. Okay. That right there is a sign of what, what happens when you trust this devil. Okay. Cause it speaks about, um, you know, Sirach 12 and 10, never trust an enemy for like an iron is rusted. So is his wickedness. Okay. And this, this, uh, Esau Edom does not change. He is the wicked for a reason. He was created to what dishonor. Okay. So Sirach 39 and one, but he that giveth his mind to the law of the most high is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of the ancient. Yeah. The wisdom of the ancient who's the ancient, our Lord, Yahweh. Okay. And when you're, um, you know, far as, uh, the law of the most high is to what? Obey his son. Kiss that royal son unless he be mad. Roughly paraphrasing that. Okay. And, and come back to the Lord to the best of your ability. In Judges 5 and 11. Rehearse the righteous acts. It says, and be occupied in prophecy. So constantly be watching. What Watching as well as praying. Because again, things are happening on, on a high scale. Okay. Uh, two. He will keep the sayings of renowned men. And where subtitle parables are will be he will be there also. Okay. So those are the, the dark sayings, like the Karagma, like what, what the lady was speaking about. They need to be able to have, have this. They're saying it's just for cars, but it's not, not about the cars. It's about having full control and having everyone linked into these smart cities, right? Three, he will seek out the secrets of the grave sentences and be cognizant in dark parables. Yeah. So the, what is the dark parable? The Karagma. Okay. That this devil is going to be like a madman sparing none. They already have a, a siege on the people where they're uh, taking away the foods or the food, you know, taking away the essentials. OK, raising gas prices to to what? So you you can't you have to bow down to this government. OK, but we know that um, through the scriptures, uh, there's seven thousand men that, that won't bow down to, uh, um, you know, these devils. OK, um, they're going to be uh, pushing this word. They're going to be, you know, fervent in the spirit. And the Lord's going to put a hedge around them. That's the wah, okay? Which is the other, with the other mark, right? And so in those, uh, you know, those grave sentences, watching as well as praying. Because what is he trying to implement? He's trying to implement his Novos Odo Secorium, okay? Which is on the back of your dollar bill. So let's get this. This is Sirach. Sirach 27 and 1. Many have sinned for a small matter, and he that seek for abundance will turn his eyes away. So when um, people, um, they don't have, you know, when you don't have faith in the Lord, okay, what happens? You you start to what bow down to, to, to these devils in abundance You for the want of all things. You know, for you, you see your, your child hungry, or you'll see, um, you know, your woman hungry, or even you're hungry. So, you know, You'll go down to uh, Esau for help, but that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to trust in the Lord. And Isaiah 65 and 13 says our Lord is going to what? Um, be able to uh, feed us. It's going to be able to um, be able to protect us in this time. Because again, Esau, Edom has what? All the, he has the fatness of the earth, which is the all the resources, right? And he has what? The, those swords. Okay. And but what, what do we have? We have the Lord. We have the Lord. We have our Lord, Yahweh Shai. Okay, which means he is the deliverer, he is the savior for the Hebrew Israelites from the pedigree of your father. Okay, he's the one that's going to be able to what save you. But see, a lot of our people don't even don't don't know the Lord. Okay, they don't they don't know they don't have the um they're ignorant to it. Why? Because this devil has hit hit it from them. Also, what our Lord has blinded them. Okay, Romans eleven and seven. It says too, as a nail sticketh fast between the joinings of the stones, so do sin stick close between buying and selling. Yeah, so. 
you know, when um they implement that uh, uh karagma, you know, as far as the karax that they would use to be able to put it in put it inside someone, okay, that is with a nail nail fastened what through your bones, okay? Because we um the servants of Yahweh Shemir your your body is known as what your house, okay, your temple, okay. That's why you're not supposed to defile your body with with uh you know with with uh cigarettes or or any um you know cutting make no cuttings in thy flesh because this is the spiritual temple of your harashai you are that spiritual temple because again this is um um we don't have uh you know our lord doesn't dwell in, in a house made with hands okay this is all spiritual but the natural man can't receive it okay so it says as a nail stick it fast between the joinings of the stones so do sin stick close between buying and selling unless it says, unless a man hold himself diligently in the fear of Yahweh Shemir Hashai, his house shall be soon overthrown. So again, those that don't, um, those that go down to Esau for help, go down to the government for help, because again, this this thing is going to get ugly. Okay, it's a time of what we're we're in a time of Jacob's trouble right now, but it's going to turn up. Okay, there's going to be the hour of temptation, so we're going to have to really trust in the Lord, and that's the servants of Yahweh Shemir Hashai are going to do that, because again, this when you don't have food. OK, or you don't have a certain, you know, a house or a certain essentials. That's when you, you will see, see these devils for help. OK, but we're not supposed to do that because what? Because it has. Right here, this is Sirach 21 and uh, one. My son, hast thou sinned? Do so no more, but ask, ask pardon for the former sins. Flee from sin as from the face of a serpent, for thou comest too near it. It will bite thee. The teeth thereof are as teeth as a lion, slaying the souls of men. Yeah, so that's what they're coming with. Okay, they're coming with what those um those uh those teeth. Okay, which is actually what the 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 karax. Okay, because you have the actual karagma, which is the technology. Then you have what the karax, which is the actual thing that they use to put it put it inside of someone. Then you have what the graphos. The graphos is actually the um. You know, far as your, uh, it would have the information on it, okay. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go into that a little bit, um, but you know, I'm just breaking it down. Far as because that stuff, as you're seeing, you know, you see what happened to uh, Bieber, okay, Justin Bieber, and that's the sign of trusting in Esau, okay, because he has nothing, nothing to give you but death. He is known as death, and these things are, are turning up, right? Let's get um. We'll go to Sirach 2. Sirach 12. Sirach 12 and 10. Never trust thine enemy for like an iron is rusted, so is his wickedness. So this devil is not going to stop. He is who he is. Okay, which is the devil. The, the um, um, He's made to what? To be this, to, to, to Sirach, yeah, to dishonor. Okay. Sirach 12 and 11 in the Apographer, it says, Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him as thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust had not been altogether wiped away. Yep, so again, he he's, it doesn't change, okay? And so there's a there's a reason why they're over there in uh, uh, Taiwan, and, and uh, Babylon the Great wants to be able to uh, uh, protect Taiwan because they have the number one... Um, you know, as far as the technology over there for the, for those, uh, you know, those chips. OK, so that that's that's the number one reason why, why they're over there and why China and them are fighting. Because, again, you have what the BRICS nations. OK, so you have a, what Brazil, uh, Brazil, Russia, um, India, you know, China and uh, South America. OK, Slovakia, like, um, South Africa. OK, and those are opposed to what the nato which is joined unto the to the mother of all harlots which is this whore america because babylon means um confusion and america means bitter okay we're in a bitter confused state when these devils are what waging war on their own people okay they want to have everyone linked into their technology because they have a god complex right sirach 12 and 12 set him not by thee lest when he have overthrown thee he shall stand up in the place, neither let him sit at the right hand, unless he seek to take thy seat. And thou hast remembered that my words be pricked therewith. 
It says, who will pity a charmer that is bitten with the serpent or as some come nigh wild beasts? So again, this, this devil is known as, as the serpent. Okay, that, that uh, dragon, you know, Rome, Rome 2.0. And he's trying to be able to give you what what they, what they call their, uh, you know, as far as their uh, science. Okay, they want to be able to give you your science, which is nothing but pseudoscience. And the man of sin is being revealed right now for, for the wickedness, for the person that he actually is. He's being exposed. He's being made bare. Okay, so don't be surprised when, when a snake bites you. That's what it's saying right here, okay? 14, so when thou goeth a sinner is defiled with him in his sins, who will pity? For for a while he will abide with thee, but if thou begin to fall, he will not tarry. So again, he's not going to stop, okay? He will act like he, oh, I'm, we're just trying to help you. If, if you saw what happened a couple years ago, okay, what happened? They were um, able to, what, trick a lot of people into going down for help. Okay, from these devils, and what happened? Now they're doing the Harlem Shake, right? It says sixteen. An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart he imagined how to throw thee into a pit. He will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. Yeah, so they're not going to be satisfied with blood. Okay, um, they they've uh, raped, robbed, and, and killed for for um, different parts of the land in this world, and they're not stopping at all. OK, why do you think they're over there in um, Ukraine? Why? Why? Um, Joe Butthead, they keep giving them all that money because, again, they're, it's a, they're trying to take it over. They're, they're trying to take up the resources. When you're going into a new world order, you have to have all the resources to have a, a, a complete world order. But we know that our Lord is going to uh, disappoint them. OK, he's going to cast them down from what? From where they from, you know, their, uh, you know, the clefts of the rocks. Right. They shall build and he shall destroy. It says uh, 17. If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him. <clears throat> Slocky, let me get some water. Slocky, it's 17. It says, if adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. And though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee. He will shake his head and clap his hands and whisper much and change his countenance. Yeah, so he will act like he's trying to help you far as, uh, you know, that, that Beetlejuice that they had, right? But now um, they're being exposed for, what, for what's as far as the connections. And what do they call it? They call it misinformation, disinformation now, when it's actually what the truth, right? So let's get, uh, let's get one more, 14. Sirach 14 and 5. He that is evil to himself, to whom he, will he do good? He shall not take pleasure in his goods. So again, he destroys his own land, okay? He puts chemtrails in his, in his own uh, uh, kingdom, okay? Fluoride in your water, okay? GMO foods, right? And he doesn't care if, even if he hurts his own people, right? Six, there is none worse than he that envy himself that is a recompense of his wickedness. If he doeth good, he doeth unwillingly, and at last he will declare his wickedness. Yeah, so at last he will declare his wickedness. He will speak with what? A forked tongue, a double, a double tongue, okay? It says, eight, the envious man hath winked an eye. He turned away his face and despised men. A covetous man is an eye is not satisfied with his portion, and iniquity of the wicked dry up the soul. Yeah, he's not satisfied that he has all the fatness of the earth, that he has airplanes that he has all all the um you know food supplies he's not satisfied with that satisfied with that what does he want he wants everyone to be corrupted up he wants every he wants that technology in them okay so let's go over to um you know revelation 13 <clears throat> the blue letter bible all right so revelation Cause this is how this is actually. Let me let me get a scripture before that. Let's see. It's starting at uh, Habakkuk. We're gonna skip around a little bit to see. Um, Yeah, so I'll start from one. Habakkuk 2 and 1. I will stand upon my watch and set up upon my tower. I will watch to see what it will say unto me and what shall answer when I am reproved. So again, standing upon that tower, that's the internet, okay? 
uh, what is that in uh, Psalms where it speaks about the, the tower and this word is being pushed what through the four corners of the earth. This word is what like a living water. Okay. And it's going to what all the elect, right? Giving them the, be, the wisdom to be able to come back to the Lord. Okay. Habakkuk 2 and 2, and the Lord answered, the Lord Yahweh answered, answered me and said, write the vision and make it a plan upon tables that it may, may run that readeth. Yeah, so again, the visions goes into what the judgments, okay, the judgments that are going to be happening to this place for all the wickedness that they have done. Okay, plan upon tables, that's what the, um, you have the scriptures, and who's making it plain upon table, the, the men of the Lord. OK, because, again, you're not going to just pick up the Bible and start reading it. It's not it's not meant like that. You're supposed to have what, a teacher, a teacher to be able to teach you with the correct doctrine. And that starts with the with the, um, you know, the apostles that uh, apostles and the elders at Great Millstone and the men on down that are pushing forth this word. It says three for the for the vision for the vision is yet for appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry. Wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. So these things are not delaying. The prophecies are not delaying. OK, the fig tree, which is a, which is a parable in Luke 21 um, to be able to, um, you know, far as the, the, the harvest is, you know, plenty, but the laborers are few, you know, um, far as the uh, socket, the, the sickle. OK, is it is being. This place is being, um, you know, going to be uh, <laughs> picked out far as for the Lord. The Lord's going to destroy this place. Okay. He's going to do it with their own missiles too. And then he's going to come with what, um, you know, with the Archangel Michael, Daniel 12 and 1. Okay. And these things are not delaying because you're seeing that Esau Edom is being more and more draconian. They're they're throwing out their own uh, constitution and making it where they give given over the rights to what? To FEMA. Okay. Uh, which is Fe Federal Emergency Management Act, okay, which means that you have no rights. They can legally uh, they can legally bring you to these camps and legally execute you, okay, legally execute you with smart guillotines, okay. They have, they bought, uh, you know, millions of, of bullets, okay, and what are they trying to do? They're also trying to take away um, the people's uh, gun rights. Now, we know that our weapons of warfare are not cardinal, okay, but this world is cardinal, okay, and, and that's going to create, what, a sedition among men. OK, among the among the people, because, again, these low level Edomites, they found out that they're not part of the promise and they're going to try to fight against the government. And we know that also um, our own people when it shall be a terror to Egypt is that uh, Isaiah 19. OK, why? Because of the lack of food. And when people don't have food for the abundance of it, they're going to go down to Esau for help. And that's how they're going to be able to implement uh, the Karab room. But the men of the Lord are not going to uh, not going to fall for it. Right. It says, Habakkuk, yeah, it's like you, Habakkuk 2 and 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith. Yeah, so uh, Esau, Edom doesn't have an upright spirit. That's why he poisons his own place. That's why he, um, you know, calls, calls our Lord a so-called white man, okay? And that's why um, he's known as the, what, the wicked, okay? Because his ways are always crooked and perverse, okay? He always, uh, he's, he speaks vanity, Okay, he has a what? Um, his ways are always grievous. Psalms ten. Okay, five. Yeah, also because he transgressed by wine, he is a proud man that keepeth at home. Okay, keep. Yeah. So what is he doing over there in Ukraine? Why is he over there in Syria? Okay, because again, he is a proud man. His proud man goes back to also crossing out our Lord, it's called, calling him a so-called white man when we when it's evident that our that our Lord came out of the tribe of Judah, which would be a so-called black man. Okay, he is a proud man, neither keep it that home. He enlarges his desire as hell. Yeah, so hell is the condition played out on earth. Okay, and that's what we're going through. This is a, a hell process as far as if you're part of the men of the Lord, because you have constant uh, wickedness all around you. Okay, it says is as death. Yeah, Esau is known as death. Okay, that's all he pushes is death. Right. And we just read that in Sirach 12 and 10. Never trust thine enemy. Right. And he is our enemy. Okay, that goes back to the law. Okay, uh, war with Amalek, right? And right now we're in a spiritual uh, war, okay? It says, it cannot be satisfied, but gather unto him all nations and heap unto him all people. So that's going into his new world order, okay, that he's trying to um, put forth. And how does he get full control with that karagma, okay? That's how he'll get the full control. He can be able to track what your carbon footprint, how much you breathe, uh, what, whatever that you're doing. And that goes through... Uh, what they have over there in China? What do they have? They have China has um, a social credit system. Okay, they already have smart cities. Okay, 
And that's why China wants, that's why they want to fight with, um, with Taiwan. And Joe Budhead said that he, he's going to, um, that he, that he will protect Taiwan. Why? Because again, they have those, they have those, uh, uh, those Karagmas over there. Okay. As far as the technology. All right. So let's get into Revelation 13. So Revelation 13 and Yeah, I'll just get to the point. So this is Revelation 13 and We'll start from 15. It says, And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast shall both speak and cause that as many would not worship the image of the beast shall be killed. So again, that goes into the what the Karagma. What's that beast? The beast, this is Rome 2.0. Okay, because Rome has a, what you have all the same structures. Okay, and that goes into uh, Revelation 20 that that, um, you know, the bottomless pit, you know, far as the because um, Esau Edom was what he was put set at a low estate for what, a thousand years. And that's when we were actually in rulership, the Byzantine Empire. And when he was lucid for that little season, starting with what the mid 1300s, what he started, what covering the faces of the judges thereof. That's the one sign how you know who this devil is because he tries to put forth his image. Okay. You don't see China doing that. You don't see these Illinois, these um, Iranians doing that. You see uh, a, a white pale face image. Okay. And again, that, that uh, little season that w which we're in right now. Okay. People are what worshiping the beast and that goes into what their philosophies. Okay, so you have you have the whore, which is which is the mother of all harlots, you know, Babylon the Great. Okay, then you have what NATO, NATO in the EU, and that consists of about what thirty, like a thirty-one countries now. Okay, you have about thirty-one countries that are joined unto the beast. Okay, and also you have um, with that sovereignty, far as the the pandemic treaty. Okay, you had I think it was. Um, it was 198 countries that were joined unto him, and then I think 47 of them um, didn't comply. Which they didn't comply because they're part of uh, South. They're part of the BRICS nations. Okay, those are the two uh, evils that are battling each other. And Russia, which is Magog and Gog in the scriptures, is going to be the one that actually takes down Babylon the Great. And there's going to be a, a great spoil on Babylon the Great. Okay, but these devils have, um, you know, they're they're so proud. That they don't, they they they're just gonna keep going. Okay, they're gonna go to the end because again, a man's goings are of the Lord. How can he know his ways? Right? It says, uh, and so also their philosophy. So they're man on man, woman on woman, you know, they're they're white, white Jesus, okay. <laughs> All these uh, you know, they're they're wicked abominations, and you're gonna have to take that karagma to what? Be able to buy or sell, because it says right here, it says 16. And he causes all both small and great and rich and poor, free and bond to receive a karagma in the right hand or in their foreheads. Okay. And we're speaking, we're saying, I'm saying karagma because that's a, a dark saying. And I'm going to, um, cause otherwise they'll, they'll what? They'll cut the video. They'll call it misinformation, disinformation. Cause again, this word is a dreadful sound in his ear. Okay, so you have the what the word uh, karagma. Strong G fifty four eighty, karagma, karagma. Okay, which is which is the what that that mot the mot to the B. Okay, it says so. This is the Greek fifty four eighty, a stamp or imprinted mark. Okay, a mark stamped on your forehead, and that word uh, forehead goes into what metaphon, and. What do they want to do? They want to be able to implement something either in your head or in your hand um, to be able to what? Take away your VMAT 2, which is your God gene. Okay. Stealing, stealing your soul. Right. It says, it says a mark stamped on the forehead or in the right hand of the badge of the followers of the anti hamashiach And there's many anti hamashiachs There's not just one. Okay. Anybody that's opposed to this word or opposed to the Lord, that's a, that's an anti hamashiach it says branded upon horses. Yeah, they want to be able to go on back to uh, slavery, okay, where they would brand brand what their slaves, but they want to do it um, eternally, something that goes inside of you, right? 
So ad adulterous uh, images, carved sculpture, graven work. Yeah, so they want to be able to what? Carve it inside of you, okay? So we'll go a little bit deeper. So that's the, uh, that's actual the um, technology that they have for the, which is the Karagma. Okay, then you have what the Karaks, which is something that, uh, let's, let's just get it, a pail or a stake or a palisade, uh, right? So that's, some, that's the thing they actually use to be able to ins insert inside of you, okay? And then you have, go more uh, even deeper, this is uh, graphos, okay? This is the Greek 1125, grapho, okay? To write with reference to the form of letters, to express in written characters, okay? Use of those things which stand written in sacred, yeah, so they want, that's going to be the, that's actually their technology, okay? As far as that goes inside of you, you can be able to have, what, your driver's license, you know, if you have your green card, green card um, thing, okay, you have what your uh, your Beetlejuice status, okay, that's gonna all be implemented on that on that one thing, which is which is gonna be implanted in you. And if you don't bow down, what they'll do is they'll cut your lights off, basically, okay. They can be able to control you and shut you down. That's why it's important not to, not to take it, okay, or not to not to trust this devil. Okay, so we broke down that part. So. It says, Revelation 13 and 16, he causes all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a karagma in the right hand or in their foreheads. 17, and that no man might buy or sell, if he had the karagma in the name of the beast and the number of his name. So again, he calls it all both small and rich, right? Free and bond. So it doesn't matter if you're locked up. It doesn't matter if you're, you know, a uh, Magic Johnson. It doesn't matter who you are. You have to get that karagma. Otherwise, it's a get down or lay down mentality. But our Lord's telling you not, not to take it. Okay. It says, um, it says that no man may buy or sell. Have you had the karagma in the name of the beast and number of his names? Yeah. So going in, that's how they're going to, uh, Sirach 27 and uh, 1. Okay, that's how they're going to be able to uh, implement this because you're not going to be able to go to what certain stores. Okay, you're not going to be able to work unless you have that actual um, that actual karagma. Okay, but the Lord's going to be able to protect us. Put that hedge, Psalms 91. It says, and they want to what implement um, their their kaistai stigma. Okay, their kaistai stigma, which is what the the number of the beast, six six six. Okay. And they want to be able to use you as a universal product code, which is a UPC code, okay, that you have uh, similar to, you know, when you when you buy something, they bring it, they bring it up, okay, as uh, far as on that barcode. And that's what they want to be able to do, do with you, okay. 18, here is the wisdom. Yeah, so this is wisdom to be able to understand what, who this devil is and not the trust in him. It says, let him that had the understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, is a number of 603 score six. So again, Kai Stai Stigman when you go into it, okay? And there's symbolism of that all around. Look at uh, Joe Biden, for his is his logo actually has the Psi in it, okay? Which is the lowercase uh, uh, Kai Stai. That's the lowercase, okay? When you go into it and it's and it's red, showing you who this, the, um, you know, this devil far as he works in uh, symbolism. Okay, so do, and so does our Lord. Okay, but the natural man is not gonna. Let me get that Second Corinthians. What do we get? Just Second Corinthians. What do we got? Two. Yeah, First Corinthians. Lock in. First Corinthians two and fourteen. Let me read this in the NLT. It says, but people who aren't spiritual can't receive these truths from Yahweh's spirit. It also sounds foolish to them that can't understand it. For those who are spiritual can understand what the spirit means. So again, the um, only the elect is going to be able to have the understanding of not to go down to Esau, Edom for help. Okay. And this is what happens if, if you do uh, um, take that. This is, this is actually the punishment. Let's get it. Uh, Go 16 and 2 first. Revelation 16 and 2. And first went out and poured out a vial upon the earth, and there fell a newsome grievous sore upon the men which had the karagma of the beast, and upon which had worshipped the image. So again, that grievous sore, that's a uh, if you if you was to take that, that is a what a cancer. And the Lord's gonna um Lord's gonna judge you, okay, grievously. 
with those uh, intercontinental ballistic missiles. Let's get it. This is Revelation 14 and 8. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon has fallen, fallen the great city because she had made all the nations drink of the wine and the wrath of the fornication. Yep. So that's going to be what the, the great destruction that's going to happen to this place from those intercontinental ballistic missiles. Okay. And we're at that point. Revelation 14 and 9. It says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast, so if you take that, take that uh, karagma, okay, any man worship the beast, him. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in its image and receive his karagma, receive his karagma in his forehead or in his hand, it says, uh, This is the punishment right here. It says, 10. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of indignation, and it shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and the presence of the Lamb. So again, because um, our Lord, Revelation 15, it speaks about um, the elect's going to be what? In, the, in those chariots. And they're going to be looking down at the destruction of this place. Okay? And it's going to be with, without, yeah, with, without strong drink. Okay? It's going to be without mixture. Okay, because again, there's going to be, uh, what is that, Sirach 40, 40 and 9, where it speaks about as um, far as bloodshed, strife, you know, calamity, famine, tribulation, and all those are what created for the for the uh, wicked. Okay, the elect's going to be able to be saved in that time. It says 11, and the smoke of the torment ascended up forever and ever. They have no rest day nor night, nor worship the beast of us, whoever received that karagma of his name. Yeah, so why are you going to be in torment? Because again, that has a tracking device in it. And so even if you say, well, I don't want it no more, they can be able to track you. Okay. And that's where you're going to get caught up in the torment, which is far as the destruction to this place from those missiles being fired on this place. Okay. It says 12. Here is the patience of the saints who are the, it says, uh, here is the patience of the saints. Here they that keep the commandments of Yahweh in the faith of Yahweh Shah. Yeah, so that, that is the patience because our Lord is what long suffering. Okay? And the men of the Lord are what standing upon that rock. And that rock is not going to be uh, uh, broken. Okay, that rock is that rock is Yahweh Shai. Okay. So let's get that Revelation 15 and 2. It says and I saw it was of the sea of glass mingled with fire and them that had gotten the victory over the beast and the image of the beast over his karagma and over the number of his name stand on the sea of glass having the harps of Yahweh. So again, going into, um, you know, being beamed up in those chariots and looking the sea mingled glass, looking down at it, the destruction of Babylon the Great and other parts of the world. OK, and our Lord is known as victory. OK, and that goes into. um and that goes into the with the olive branch, okay? And that's the symbolism of what? Um, of victory, okay? And our Lord is known as victory. Yahweh is known as victory, okay? Over the beast, over the image, and of his karagma, and over the number of the name stand, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of Yahweh. It says uh, three, and they that sing the song of Moses, the servant of Yahweh, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are the works of Yahweh Bashim Yahashai, Almighty, just and true are all the ways, thou King of thy saints. So again, who are the saints? Those are the Israelites. Okay? And the elect is the is uh, who the Lord is dealing with right now. Two-thirds of our people got to get sacrificed. Okay? And then come back in the bowels of the elect. Okay? And that song of, uh, song of Moses is what? Deuteronomy 32. Okay, the song of Moses and, and the men of the Lord are going to be, uh, you know, praising, praising the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? Because those would be the ones that what, got, the, got the victory over, over the beast. They didn't, they didn't bow down to this devil. Okay? So with that, let's see. Yeah, with that, I like to say, Rakatha Yahweh, Rakatha Yahweh Shai. Kwam Yahweh Shai, Shalom to the elect.